Update, 25M, 22F. My GF is sad all the time because she misses her ex. Original post. HTTPS. www.reddit.com slash r slash relationship advice slash comments slash 14 fee 47 slash 25 m 22 f Mike facade elf the time because she slash UTM source equals share and UTM medium equals iOS app and UTM name equals iOS CSS and UTM content equals 2 and UTM term equals 1. Hello everyone. Just wanted to give an update since a lot of you were concerned in my last post. Which I really appreciate. I know it's been a few days but this just happened so I want to get it out. And I'm posting this on a throwaway because for some reason my original account isn't working. After the last post, she asked me if we could take a week apart to figure things out. I asked her if we were breaking up and she said no. Just taking a break and giving each other some space so we can think clearly. Now, in the past, taking breaks has never worked in my previous relationships. But hey. I thought maybe this time she'd see the wrongs of her ways and come back to me more in love than ever. So a day goes by, and we're on our break not really talking. Then all of a sudden, late at night, she asks me if she can come over that night. I ask her why since we're on a break. She says she misses me. This is at like 1am. So I'm sleepy and confused. Okay I say. I let her come over and she spends the night. Next day, she asks to come over again. I say sure and she does. At this point I start getting suspicious for a couple reasons. 1. Her pubic regions were recently shaved. And she has very rarely ever done that with me and we hadn't even done anything together in like a couple weeks. I asked her and she just said yeah she shaved after work. 2. She was wearing a bracelet. Which I had never seen before. I asked her about it and she didn't even respond. So now I'm thinking something's up. But maybe it's just my insecurities. Oh well. I sleep it off. Next day. Today. We go to work. We work in the same building. She sometimes leaves her phone in the car and she did so this morning. Now this is where I will admit I am in the wrong. But when I was on my break I went out to our car and looked in her phone. I saw so many messages to her ex, Tom, saying how she wanted him. Those nights she came over to my house late? She was spending the evening with him earlier. She sent him nudes of herself that I took of her. The night before when I dropped her off at home, I saw she texted him 30 minutes later telling him to come over. I felt sick to my stomach and my heart was racing. I put the phone down messaged her on Facebook to never talk to me again, and blocked her on everything, even her number. She then found me in my office and very loudly asked me what was going on. In front of my co-workers, I told her we could go outside and talk and we did. I told her that I saw everything on her phone. She yelled at me, called me crazy, and said, I can't be with someone so insecure as you, and then stormed off. I avoided her for the rest of the day. Later, at the end of the workday, she came by again, this time smiling and pouting, very softly asking me if we could talk. I said whatever, and we went outside again. First thing she did was threaten to get police involved because I looked through her phone without permission, which she said was a form of breaking and entering. I kinda laughed and said go right ahead if that's what you want. Then she started tearing up and saying, why would you do that? And I asked why she'd send nudes to Tom. She said it was for validation. I asked why she would even be with me if she felt that way about him. She said that she loved me and wanted to marry me and have kids with me. I asked if they had done anything. She said no, but part of me knows she's lying. Anyways, as I'm sitting there listening to all this. A part of me is wanted to just hug her and hold her and tell her we're gonna work through this together. But then I realized that the girl I loved was never real. I just loved the idea of her. 
that this girl sitting in front of me with her fake tears and apologies was just going to lie again. That if I got back with her it would just enable her further. So at the end of the conversation when she asked, are we really done forever? We can't just work through this? I told her no, and that I was never going to see her or speak to her again. To which she just stood up, said, if you say so, have a nice life, and slowly walked away. I don't know what to feel right now. Why do I feel like I made a mistake? Why do I still want to unblock her and call her and tell her that I love her? I know she's not for me. Everyone at work tells me she's not for me. My family dislikes her. IDK. Is there something wrong with me? Why does a part of me feel like I could forgive her for all that? If I believed that they didn't have sex, I could look past it as just her making a mistake. I'm just so confused. Edit. So after I got home from work, literally 10 minutes later my doorbell rings and it's her. I ignore it but then 20 minutes later she's ringing it still. So I open the door and she's crying. Begging for me back. Telling me she'll do anything I ask her to do to make this work. That she loves me and only me and wants to marry me and have kids with me and move far away with me. I asked her. If all that was true why she'd do any of those things she did. She just cried and said she didn't know. That she's stupid and was looking for validation. That she has abandonment issues from her childhood. Anyways. After we talked I basically just stood my ground and told her there's no chance of making this work. Anymore and sent her home. She asked me to unblock her in case of emergency. And I only agreed for the next week or so while this settles down. I'm reading all your comments now. This is all just so crazy to me. How could this girl do this? I can't even fathom talking to someone else while in a relationship. Let alone cheating. Edit 2. Okay so I blocked her again. Per y'all's recommendation. But before I did she had already sent me a few texts. Was I wrong to assume we were getting back together? I mean we were fine yesterday and last night, if you don't want to be with me anymore fine, oh. Accept that and leave you alone. I have a feeling she'll be showing up at my front door again later. I just hope I have the strength to not open it. I hope you had protection when she came over during your break, also you should start recording. Your interactions or have a witness. Do not be alone with this woman. Man it's over. Bite the bullet, move on. She did. Just dump her. She has cheated on you no matter what she says. Even if she didn't have sex with him. Sending nudes is cheating. Now she's manipulating you. She threatened to call the police on you. Is that not enough proof that she doesn't love you? I don't know what to feel right now. Whatever you feel is fine. You don't control your feelings. You just feel them. Why do I feel like I made a mistake? Because brains are dumb and it hurts to end relationships even when it's the right thing to do. Why do I still want to unblock her and call her and tell her that I love her? Because you don't want to let go of the version of her that lived in your head. But you have to. That version of her never actually existed. I know she's not for me. Everyone at work tells me she's not for me. My family dislikes her. IDK. Is there something wrong with me? No. But brains are dumb and it hurts to end relationships even when it's the right thing to do. Why does a part of me feel like I could forgive her for all that? Because brains are dumb and it hurts to end relationships even when it's the right thing to do. If I believed that they didn't have sex. I could look past it as just her making a mistake. You don't want to let go of the version of her that lived in your head. But you have to. That version of her never actually existed. I'm just so confused. That's totally normal. And totally reasonable. But here's the reality. She is a liar. She is manipulative. And she is using classic abuser tactics. The acronym is DARVO. Go ahead and look it up. This is a well-understood pattern of behavior for people who are abusive. 
deny, attack, reverse victim and offender she lied to you and denied she did anything. She called you crazy and insecure. She told you she was going to call the police because you looked through her phone and tried to make herself the victim. There is zero chance that being with her will lead to a happy life. Absolutely zero chance. Nil. Nada. There is a 100% chance that being with her will lead to endless additional heartbreak and suffering. Guaranteed. It's a certainty. There is only one correct answer in this situation. You absolutely must not contact her ever again. You have to move on. And when you have enough space you'll look back on this relationship and realize that there were a lot more red flags that you ignored. Because that's always what happens. Rough update, ah, but definitely get an STI test done. To which she just stood up. Said, if you say so. Have a nice life. And slowly walked away. She doesn't believe you have a backbone. She'll come back. Tell her to get lost. You didn't make any mistakes that woman wasn't in love with you right from the get-go. Keep her blocked and I'd suggest getting tested. Let Tom have her. She's his problem now. And yeah, I do mean problem. Why so confused? She cheated on you. That's a pretty clear message. She just wants you for stability and security. She clearly loves her ex. Just try to move on. Mate, move on. You deserve better than her. Bro listen. Don't even get involved with women who talk to you about their ex and so on. It's over. Now you need to work on yourself and make yourself better. She is hopelessly insecure. Cut and run brother, cut and run. You don't deserve to be someone's backup plan. You don't deserve to be the stability she needs whilst she pines for her ex. You deserve to loved and respected as an equal. Forget about her. You are worth more than that. You did exactly the right thing. Surround yourself with support system. Friends and family. And don't contact her again. You will get over this eventually. She was never truthful to you. She used you to get over the one she truly loves. She never loved you. She never cared. She loved how much you liked her and how easy she was able to use you. That is cruel and disgusting. And that is the version of her that you should always remember because that is the realest version of her. Dude, just stop please. Have a little self-respect and end it completely with her. Hey man, I went through nearly the exact same thing about four years ago. I made the mistake of trying to fix things and kept getting lied to for a couple of weeks. Best thing I did was cutting off contact completely. Gave me a lot of calm, confidence and if she does cross my mind it's more of a fondness for that time in my life. No regret. No anger. It'll get better for you too once you have some time to yourself. Good luck. You asked a question that I want to answer. At least present my side of it. When she didn't show any remorse or sadness. Just walked out in your brain you can't rationalize the reaction. Because you can never be like that. So when you try to find a rationale behind her actions. That's when your brain will try to resort to familiarity so it can process the information or function better. The missing feeling you are feeling. The love you think you have right now. It's all your brain literally playing a replay so it can produce enough hormones to keep you stable. Or else the heartbreak. The pain. Brain can't process it. Especially so soon. Trust me. You don't miss her. You don't want her. It's over in your heart. Unfortunately, your brain needs more time to stabilize that decision and keep you functioning. The urge to unblock her. Call her is effectively your brain trying to reduce your cortisol level. The best thing you can do for yourself is to keep away from her. Spend time with friends and family. Shifts the focus. 
Keep yourself occupied. You are gonna do better. It will get better I promise. Hold the line buddy don't cave in. Do whatever you have to do to not go back to her. Work on yourself go out with friends or relatives. Just let time pass it will diminish. You stay strong man. She's trash and trash doesn't deserve to be in your life. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Era Cast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.